Hey, this is Mike. Uh, this is a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sport Unlimited in Firecracker Red. Now this one has a soft top, but uh, this is the second 2015 we've got on the lot. And this is more of a basic model than the other one, but um, still has a lot of features. You see there it's got the fog lights in the front has the alloy wheels, on off road tires, it's got the side steps. Let's see what the passenger side looks like. One of the things that they changed in 2015 is the uh, the tweeter speakers up here on the dash have a different style. They don't stick up. The other one's kind of stuck up a little bit. This one's flat. And the shape of the speaker covers back here in the uh, in the roll cage. The speakers are, you know, before they looked round. Now they have a different styling. Here's the back seat. Now these seats do fold down, so that way you can put some more, have some more cargo space. And the unlimited is, you know, of course, has a longer wheelbase than the. The, uh, the two-door Wranglers but um, and you know for people that don't know Unlimited basically nowadays is just a four-door Wrangler um, Unlimited used to be a, just an extended wheelbase length Wrangler but now it's just associated with the four doors so there's your towing package there's your spare tire now these tires are really look really cool they're kind of smooth on the outside but once you dig your fingers into the trade you can feel there's a lot of uh, traction there for soft surfaces pretty neat I might be the only one to uh, notice that but I'm kind of into stuff like that but anyways let's check out the back now since this is a soft top you can open up the door to this part right here um, you know there's a little bit of a procedure removing it so it's not easy to uh, to just open it up and back here you've got a mat which is reversible it's got rubber on one side and and carpeting on the other and under here you got some storage space and underneath that is your tools for changing your tire and give you an idea of what it looks like this one doesn't have the subwoofer some of the other ones have the, the subwoofer in the back you got the tow hooks back here Let's see what it looks like on this side now your cup holders are there for the back seats and your power window switches are there so they're not in the door now see this seat folds down just this one seat the other side was was two um, so that way you can kind of kind of have a, a, a combination of cargo and passenger space depending on your needs at the time you just want to make sure your seat belt is out of the way when you put a seat back You got your storage pockets back here and that does have the heated side mirrors I think one thing I want to mention that with a Wrangler um, the door seals are very thick and heavy-duty and they're made for like literally keeping water out because this is a trail rated vehicle so it can go through you know like 20 inches of water so with that heavy duty seal on the door you do you can't just kind of shut it like a normal car door you kind of really have to slam it to make sure it's all the way shut so I notice people that never had a Wrangler before and they're just you know trading in their minivan for a Wrangler or a car or something they don't realize that you know that kind of takes them a little bit of getting used to when they get in when they get in it says the doors open and they thought they shut it so just because it's latched there doesn't mean it's uh, all the way shut just kind of keep that in mind when you're transitioning from a car to a Wrangler it does have a heavy-duty door seal and it and you do have to give it a good slam so, all right I'm gonna go ahead and hop in all 
All right, so here's the inside. Let me turn the air conditioner down a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the camera. Now, I got a big machine street sweeper right next to me, so it's making a bunch of noise. Now, the soft top isn't the quietest in the world. You know, you notice a lot of sound from this machine going by is making it through into the vehicle. Some, you know, some like the hard tops are going to be a little bit quieter uh, on the inside. But anyways, um, here's the steering wheel, and it is a leather wrap steering wheel. It does have some good thickness. And on the front of the steering wheel, we've got your cruise control on this side. On the back is a volume. So you can adjust the volume for the radio up and down. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit more so you can hear it. And on this side, you can change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel. So I can change to the stations and I can adjust the volume um, just by, you know, keeping my hands right on the steering wheel. So that's convenient. Now on this side, you've got your Bluetooth. This is, does have the connectivity, connectivity group to where you can um, make calls, receive calls with the uh, Bluetooth system. It does have a voice recognition system as well um, to where you can, uh, has voice commands or certain commands that it will recognize, um, but you will have to kind of get used to that on which on how, which commands to use um, now back down here is your there's your gauges but right there where it says W and 77 W means I'm facing west and 77 is how the temperature outside which is pretty nice today so basically I'm gonna push the menu button here and kind of cycle through a, a, a menu system. Now I'm going to push down, it gives me the digital speedometer. So I'm going to push menu again, it's going to give me the average miles per gallon, how many miles to um, empty, tire pressure, uh, timer, vehicle info. Now I'm going to go into that by pushing the down arrow. And uh, so it gives me specific information, temperatures and pressures of the vehicle in the moment. So I'm going to go back. I cycled through that quickly, but um, now I'm going to push menu again. Menu, menu, and I'm back there. Now, let's say I'm just in there somewhere. Let's say I'm right here. I can always push the this north button to get back to that. And that way I can you know see the compass and the temperature. So that's a neat little feature there. It kind of gives you some more information besides what's already displayed. Has a pretty neat steering wheel here, the Jeep symbol. It's kind of like a gray, and it has a nice gloss to it. It's pretty neat. All right, so moving on over here at the top is a storage container, kind of for throwing stuff in there temporarily, I guess, or whatever but it will be in the sun so you don't want to put anything that's going to have issues with um, direct sunlight and right here is your um, your radio now it does have satellite radio and a one year is included with the price of a new vehicle and it does have a CD player and it plays mp3s and um, you can see you do have the Bluetooth buttons here as well you have an auxiliary input here, so you can plug in an iPod or something like that. Everything else is pretty much standard you would expect on a, just a normal standard radio, your knobs and everything. There is your um, window controls, your door window, your power window controls are in the middle. Here's your climate control, pretty, pretty standard there. Down here you've got your side mirror controls, a little joystick. You just put it on which side you want, and then you can adjust it the way you want it. You can turn the traction control off. There's your right there on that button. To the right of that is a downhill descent button. Now you don't want to use that on on uh, dry pavement. That's for like off-road conditions. And your four-way flashers. You got a power supply there. You got a net pocket down there. A little storage pocket for pens or something right in front of it. There's your four-wheel drive shifter. Here's your automatic shifter. Now it does have an auto stick feature, so once you get down into um, drive, you can bump the shifter left or right. You can 
go down up down shift or up shift like that and like say if you accidentally bump it and you go to a different gear all you don't have to do is hold it to the right and it goes back and drive all right here's your cup holders with a little jeep symbol in there emergency brake is there now this is your console now it is uh, your center console it is lockable and it has two portions um, let's see here this is a like a two buttons up there see those two buttons but anyway there's a shallow portion we can put a cell phone or something it does have places where the wires can go, go out and then lift the whole thing up you have a larger container there with a power supply and a USB port in there now the USB I think is just for charging I don't think you can actually play stuff on the radio not sure I hadn't really tried it but I think it's just for charging glove compartment lockable as well and so you've got two places to lock stuff up as well as the back in that little storage compartment I showed you um, if you put stuff in there and lock the tailgate you, that's another place you can lock stuff up so you got three places that you can lock stuff up even with the top off and the doors off so it's not like a safe or anything but just kind of keeps people from just grabbing stuff or whatever and keeps it out of sight as well up here you have an auto dim rear view mirror you got the little jeep thing going on there and then you got like a little jeep crawling up the side of the glass there which is pretty cool and it's, it's neat to kind of look around on the vehicle and I mean there's little jeep symbols and stuff all over the place they're kind of like Easter eggs I guess when you're not familiar with the vehicle but um give you an idea of what it looks like back there all right let's look underneath the hood See, there's uh see sometimes they have little little jeep on the tires on the wheels but I was so I was looking for it I didn't see one on that one Let's see if I can do this with one hand okay there we go the uh, 3.6 liter v6 Pentastar. there's your battery everything's color coded everything in yellow is what you would normally kind of check on your own if you wanted to but um but there you have it 2015 jeep wrangler unlimited sport and if you have any questions let me know you can leave them in the comment section or you can actually email me my email address is in, in the description all right see you next time